everyone, welcome back to On The Fly. Today we're going to be previewing the Stanley Cup Playoffs Round 1 matchup between the Washington Capitals and the New York Rangers. So we'll hop right into today with some of the history between these two teams. Obviously an historic matchup between these two metropolitan teams. And one of the big things we're really looking at here is as we look towards sort of what's been happening in the playoffs as of recent, you know, in the last 12-ish years, this will be the fourth time what's really going on here is there's a lot of game sevens to talk about back in 2012 round two four three was the final of the playoff series round one in 2013 four three of course going to game seven and of course lastly here round two in 2015 four to three your game seven winner for the new york rangers new york has taken all of those game sevens so something to play for for the washington capitals in this one and let's just preface this preface the video with this the Rangers are a lot better than they were back in, you know, 2015, 2012, 2013. They're a lot better now than they were back then. And the Washington Capitals have kind of taken a different approach. They're not as good as they were back in the day. So there's that to consider. These aren't necessarily up to date, you know, sort of playoff histories aren't necessarily the most recent of years so they are very different teams sure there's a lot of similar players on these teams but in general you know they, they have changed a little bit in terms of who who their team composition is so we'll start with that and now let's take a look at this year and, and sort of what's going on here so we start on december 9th with the washington capitals four to nothing victory as well on december 27th five to one for the rangers remember we look here all the home teams whoever played home ended up winning this game so something to think about you know the rangers do have home ice advantage with the president's trophy so you know coming first in the league gives you a little bit of benefit on home ice we'll see if that helps them all at all in this series as well on january 13th Washington won 3 to 2 at home and on January 14th the Rangers won 2 to 1 at home as well. We'll flip it over here now to the players and this is sort of a, an important note. Normally we sort of spend a little bit more time on the history. We're going to talk about the players here cuz there's a lot to talk about. Starting off with a couple key injuries, starting with the Washington Capitals with Nick Jensen. He's a player that, you know, is day to day likely to return for game 1. We'll see. You know, he's been skating, he's he's been through all everything that he needs to. Just a matter of when he will return. As well with Rasmus Sandin, he's sort of week to week. He could be back. It's unlikely to see him return, but there is the outside chance that he will. Ethan Bear and Nick Backstrom both won't be in this uh, in the playoffs. Backstrom is out with, of course, the back injury, and Ethan Bear is in the NHL P, um, the PA sort of player safety program. So. There are uh, both Bear and Baxter will be out of the lineup for the Washington Capitals. Sandin is probably week to week. You'll see him hopefully by the end of the series. Won't be at the start. If if everything goes well for him, sort of in his return, hopefully it'd be towards the end. If if that's probably best case scenario, you'd likely see him round two, round three, if the Capitals can make it that far. And Nick Jensen really could be day to day it's just hard to tell at this time obviously you know coaches don't give you that much to work with so according to the most recent report we got it as a day to day as well we have philip Cheadle, who's day to day for the rangers as well as hayden flurry both those players once again day to day you know they might show up in the lineup it's really hard to tell as well as blake wheeler is out for the rangers not likely to return for the first round you know, you might see him in the second and third, but it's sort of one of those outside chances for him to return. I do doubt he'll, he will return, but of course for the Rangers, any of those guys coming back would be huge pickups for them, especially because the Rangers this year are looking to, you know, make that deep cup run where the Capitals, I mean, I think they'd take just making it past this first round. Now let's talk about sort of the players I'm looking at to, to sort of take that next step and help them, uh, help both teams to where they need to be and, and, and win this series. First one, of course, for the Washington Capitals has to be Tom Wilson. In the playoffs, you look to players that are going to get under your skin, who are going to play the game the right way. And I look at Tom Wilson. He's going to be like a crucial part to the Washington Capitals, not just to keep him out of the box, but also to put points up on the board. He's a really, really solid player. And when we look at it, you know, he's the one who, who the Capitals really have to rely upon to get them to make that next step and, and to really help them beat a, a solid Goliath team like the New York Rangers. Second one is John Carlson. So when we look at the Capitals right now, they are lacking on their defensive side so when we look at a guy like Carlson who's you know pretty solid defender you know he's, he's sort of on that high end of that defenseman in the NHL 
in my opinion, he's the one that really has to take charge, lead his team on the defensive side to victory. And so when we look at it, you know, there, you could throw in Ovi as well. I, I chose to leave Ovi off just because, you know, it kind of goes without saying. So I didn't want to take the obvious one. But Ovi, of course, is, sort of has to lead that offensive side. You know, when he's hot, the, the Capitals play really well. But when he's cold, you know, the Rangers don't play well. So when we look at it, you know, in my opinion, the, the, the players that really have to lead are always going to be the goaltender. Uh, the defense, in my opinion, John Carlson has to take control and Ovi has to lead the forwards. And our last one here for the X-Factors is TJ Oshie. You know, he's a player that time after time has shown he has the ability to come in clutch when he needs to. So when we look at it, coming going up against it in the David Goliath situation, the Goliath with the New York Rangers, David has to and TJ Oshie has to lead the, his team to victory. He's a player that performs well in the clutch. It's gonna need. He's gonna need to be clutch in this one. So, those are your three Washington Capitals X factors. Now let's take a look at the New York Rangers. And of course, you have to start off with Matt Rempe. He's a player that I would expect to drop the gloves at least three times in the series against probably Tom Wilson, in my opinion. Wouldn't be surprised to see a throwdown right off the opening faceoff. But that's really what Rempe is in the lineup for: is to fight, is to get into the dirty areas, to cause a little bit of problems. And I think when we look at that in a playoff perspective, that's exactly what you need from a guy like Matt Rempe. He's going to be a player that I'm really looking forward to see what steps he takes in this in this playoff series to, to make it to that next level. We will see there as well. My second was Alexis Lafreniere, of course, the former junior and. and you know, you can really, he's a player that's built his way up. You know, he had a rough couple of years. People are calling for his head. But the last sort of stretch, he's performed better and better. And in my opinion, he's going to be a crucial part to the New York Rangers' success. Not just in this series, because I think it's pretty pretty guaranteed for the most part that the Rangers will take this one. But on in future series where, you know, you need that depth scoring. I think Lafreniere is a player who's really going to take that to the next level and, and really sort of take the New York Rangers above to where they need to be. And lastly here with Jacob Truba, you know, the captain of the New York Rangers, he's got to lead by example here. Obviously, he's had a little bit of problems with discipline in years past. He's a player I'm really looking for to sort of take his team to that next level. He's the captain. Everyone looks to him. If he's going to go around running and taking bad hits, you know, you're probably not going to do that well in this series. But, you know, if you can keep that level head, be a good solid captain, as we talked about in our captain's video, you know, he's going to be really, he, he's, he's going to help the Rangers to win this series which will be crucial for them. We'll now take a look at the keys to success for both teams, starting off with the Washington Capitals. The first one is you got to believe, you know, if you're not going to believe, then you're probably going to have some problems. So, you know, it's the classic kindergartner quote. If you, if you think you can do it, then you can do it. If you don't think you can do it, you're not going to be able to do it. So that's the key to this series for the Washington Capitals is never give up. You know, they don't really have anything to lose in this series. They're the the way underdogs here. The the big bad New York Rangers. Think back to that Florida series back when last year against the Bruins. You know, there's the same thing. You know, Florida was the, the underdogs. You know, they have an underdog mentality. Everything was about them being underdogs. But yet, you know, they still found a way to beat the big bad Boston Bruins, the record setting Boston Bruins. So when we look at it in that perspective, you know, anything can happen in hockey as long as you believe. And as long as the Washington Capitals can believe, just saying, this might be a closer series than we think. As well, the Washington Capitals are on the rise. The last little stretch of the playoffs, uh, sort of that race to get into the playoffs, has been really, really good for them. And it sort of helps them to already play that playoff-style hockey, you know, where the Rangers haven't really played a meaningful game in a, in a while. Sure, they tried to win the President's Trophy, and they had to play games to win that. But at the same time, you know, they're a team that hasn't really played a meaningful game where it's do or die in a long time. So if Washington can jump out early, especially against the New York Rangers, don't be surprised to see them start to sort of run away, especially early in this series. I think the Rangers at the end of the day, even if, you know, if the Rangers can win game one, this game will be a sweep. And I do think that they will. But if they don't, you know, Washington will be able to push the series to six or seven. It would not surprise me one bit. As well, the last part is it's a trap for the Washington Capitals. They have to play their classic trap style, suffocating defense. If they can do that. You know, they, they might have a shot on this one. They, all they have to do is sort of slow down the New York Rangers as best they can. If they can do that. They might have a shot in this series. Time will tell there. For the New York Rangers, the keys to success are the president. When we look at it, the president's trophies winner, 
you ha you've shown yourself you're able to win hockey games in a very convincing fashion so when we look at it that perspective the rangers just have to keep what they're doing right if they can continue their success from the regular season they'll have no problem against the team like the washington capitals but of course time will tell there the second point is dominate when we look at it you know the, the cap or the the rangers rather are a team that has to dominate play against the capitals you know if they play on their heels they're gonna have some problems so when you think about it you know they're a team that's really really solid and you know a team that's really really solid should play really really good hockey should play dominant hockey if you think about sort of the international comparison it'd be like canada against uh we'll go with latvia where you know if you're going to play against latvia on your heels you might have some problems but you know if canada can continue their success no, no problem in this game. And the last one is patience. It might not happen right away for the Rangers, but if they keep going, eventually the puck will find the back of the net. So for the Rangers, you know, just keep it going. Stay patient. Don't do anything dumb. Don't take any bad penalties. <coughs> Rempe. Don't take any bad penalties. Truba. Don't take any bad penalties, and you'll be just fine in this series. So now we'll take a look now at the comparison for the team matchups and final predictions. So obviously, you know, when we look at on the offensive firepower, it's just the New York Rangers. There's no comparison to the to the Washington Capitals in this one. The Rangers take it steadily. So all the defense, in my opinion, the Rangers still have the better defense and the better goaltending. And I'm going to take the New York Rangers in four games. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. You know, could it go to five, six, or seven? Sure. Do I think the Rangers are going to win no matter what? Probably. Am I going to be wrong? Probably. That's the whole point of hockey, right? It, that's the nice thing. It's never a decided game. It's always nice to look at it on paper because we look at it, you know, the Leafs should beat the Bruins. But at the same time, that's why we love hockey because anything can happen. And it really is anyone's game, you know. At the end of the day, we'll see who takes it. Um, but it, I really do think the Rangers have to win here in four games. If you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. If you'd like to drop a like, if you realize that you're subscribing, tell all your friends, leave a comment down below your thoughts on the matchup between the New York Rangers and the Washington Capitals. Until next time, see you.